Hello guys, Cloud Code, as it's getting popular, it still has one problem. It's a terminal. So you don't really even look at the code, you just start typing, generate something, something, right? But this is not our natural way as developers. We like to see the code structure like in cursor or in PHP Storm or in other IDE and then write prompt based on what we see on the screen. So let me show you cloud code slash command that allows to integrate cloud code inside of your IDE. So here's the page of the official docs about configuration and they launched it relatively recently a few months ago. You can integrate cloud code into Visual Studio Code, which means Cursor, Windsurf, and other forks, and also JetBrains IDE, including my IDE PHP Storm. To enable that, all you need to do is install a plugin for VS Code or JetBrains, and then just run Claude, but in some cases it doesn't work, so another kind of fallback is slash IDE slash command. But in my case, I successfully launched Cloud Code inside of Cursor, and as you can see, the change here is that it's looking at the files that are already opened. Team test, not sure if you see here, it is mentioned at the bottom right. Also, of course, as it's terminal, you can move it wherever you want inside of your IDE. So position like maximize panel size, restore panel size, and do basically any manipulations with your window inside of that IDE. But also, for example, let's do it this. If you type some prompt, generate something, let's close the file so there's no file opened. And when it is finished, as you can see, it's trying to make changes and it immediately opens the change in your IDE. So this is easier to review versus just in the terminal. You will see immediately the changes that it wants to make to your files before approving that. So I'll just hit escape and we'll show you another example, another benefit of using Cloud Code inside of your IDE. So if you open any file and for example, highlight something, then your highlighted section becomes a context in Cloud Code. So if we maximize that, as you can see, five lines selected, which means you can prompt based on that selection. For example, change name to John Doe and cursor and Cloud Code would immediately know where to change the name, what is John Doe. And as you can see, the fix is applied immediately, also shown in your IDE with diff. And I can show you the same thing inside of PHP Storm, JetBrains IDE. So I open a terminal, type in Claude, and again, you can move that terminal window to wherever. For example, let's put it to right top, and let's see slash IDE, what will it show us? Yep, connect to IDE, PHP Storm is one of the options. I hit enter, IDE connected, and now let's highlight the same code. Again, it will show five lines selected, change name to John Doe, the same example. Visually, nothing will be different from Cloud Code in Cursor. As you can see, the diff is here on the left, which is, I guess, the best from both worlds. Terminal command prompting, and then looking at the changes, immediately reviewing them visually before completing. That said, actually, Cloud Code is terminal by design, so it's not a bug, it's not laziness from the team of creators. It's actually considered to be a new way of working with AI agents. Basically, you don't even look at the code. You work with prompts and context and then open IDE later to review or even not opening that. You can review in GitHub if it commits code and makes a pull request. You can configure it to do that. So some people consider this the future of coding where you don't need to look at the code. You work with just prompts. We'll see how it goes. For now, I'm a bigger fan to use Cloud Code inside of IDE, but what do you think? How do you use Cloud Code? And actually, where do you position your terminal with Cloud Code? On the right, at the bottom? How does it all fit on your screen? And do you feel the same as me that I now need a big monitor and it's hard for me to work on the laptop if I work at coffee shops? Share your experience in the comments below. The final thing I want to announce is I'm starting a weekly newsletter, absolutely free, AI Coding Daily, where I will summarize not only my videos for that week, but also other resources from the community that I've read over the past week 
news announcements, tips and tricks, tutorials, and videos. Because AI coding world is overwhelming with the information, and since I'm reading a lot of that anyway, I will summarize it for you, so subscribe to that newsletter. The first issue is coming out in three hours as I'm shooting this video, which will be on August 6th, and it should be out when I publish this video, but this will be my new weekly tradition on Wednesdays. Subscribe and stay updated. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.